Hey guys, my name is Caitlin Merson and I'm today's Future Friday on Mom's View. Before I even get started in this video, I really would like to take the time to thank Mom's View for this incredible opportunity to be part of your channel. It's um, an honor to be part of a channel where moms rally behind one another, encourage, uplift, and empower one another through their struggles and triumphs. I'm both excited and nervous to be making this video all together because on my channel, my husband really takes the lead and um, I'm usually the one standing in behind just saying yes and smiling or just doing the video without much talking. So this is really out of my comfort zone, but I really wanted to do it because um, there's so much potential in making this video on your channel where moms can reach out and friendships can be formed from it. I could um, relate to somebody else who is watching right now. So I'm really excited to be making this video. So like I said, my name's Caitlin and I'm 28 years old. I'm from New Jersey and I have a daily vlogging channel with my family. I'll put it right here if you guys wanna come over and come check us out. We do all types of videos from skits, challenges, pranks, um, vlogs. We have a car chit chat that we do every single week where we talk about random, Things, whether it be the 90s, which is a huge topic for us, um, topics from the past, or just everyday stories, whether it be, you know, just an update on our life. Um, the car chit chat is kind of where we end up, you know, just talking about random stuff. So a little about my family. I have two beautiful daughters. Zoe is six years old and she is in first grade this year. Um, she is loving it and she surprised me every day with you know the amount of knowledge that she's bringing home in kindergarten she was really shy and uh, she didn't like to read and I always saw her in pictures like in the corner somewhere but now in first grade she's coming home with these fantastic tickets she's been dojo champ she's been top five she read to the the whole entire class is story. She's just really, really surprising me. And Ava is my three-year-old. She is not in daycare like I would want her to be due to you know the financial struggles of being a parent. Um, but she does get watched from my great-grandparents, well, my grandparents, which are her great-grandparents. So I can work at an elementary school in third grade. I love working with those who have special needs, autistic, um, all types of um, behaviorals, but right now I've currently been a one-on-one -on -one to someone who has diabetes. He has a Dexcom and I kind of watch his number throughout the day because it goes up and it goes down and um, I'm there for his safety. And um, I have been married for going on seven years on the 14th. Some days it feels like it was yesterday and others feel like we've been married for 20 something years. But we are celebrating seven years together and um, we met on MySpace. Um, he inboxed me and MySpace, many of you guys may not even know what it is or you may know that it's not cool anymore. But we met on MySpace, he messaged me and we just related on so many different levels and we've been inseparable ever since. We actually dated for like a month before we even met each other. Um, but our relationship kind of moves quickly and we ended up getting pregnant um, maybe like two years into it. And um, one of the things that kind of bonded our relationship together so much is we had a miscarriage together. Um, it was really traumatic for me, but it really just showed how much um, Josh was there for me because we were up at college together and no family was around and he kind of like stood by my side and was the calm to the storm. Um, it was really traumatic because it was snowing and it reminded me of a movie that we saw and it was just really sad that I woke up to a baby in my room crying and it was just very confusing and from that moment I really wanted to have kids like right away and everything happens for a reason and crazy thing that happened was we got pregnant 
the following year, basically around the same time, and the due date was almost identical to one another. So um, if that didn't happen, we wouldn't be in the situation with our two beautiful daughters now. So I understand why it happened. Maybe we weren't ready for it, um, but it really did sculpt our relationship, and I'm really thankful for everything and why it happened. Um, so before life as a mom and a wife, I grew up in a very dysfunctional home. My mom has cerebral palsy. My brother moved out when he was 13 with um, his girlfriend at the time. And my dad um, was manic depressive, bipolar, alcoholic. Um, he ended up going to prison when I was 10 years old and he's been there ever since with no breaks. And it has affected me in both positive and negative ways. Um, but that is coming to an end here in 36 days from today's video. And the reason why I'm making the video all together is um, with him coming out of prison, I'm not scared and I'm ready for it and very excited. But I did not have children when he went in. Um, and now that I have children, I put them first in everything. And I am wondering, um, how do you introduce someone who has been absent from your children's life, the majority of it, or the complete amount of it? Um, is there proper steps involved? Um, how do you explain why the person has been absent? Where have they been? Um, and what if your children just don't click with them at all? and don't want anything to do with that person, like what do you do? Um, feel free, you can comment them below. Um, I will come back um, and answer everyone's comments. So those questions that I have, I know I'm relating them to you know, my dad coming home from prison, but these could be related to any topic, whether you're single and just starting dating or you're divorced and starting dating or a family member just kind of has been absent from your life and came back in for whatever reason it may be. So it doesn't just need to be based off of someone coming home from prison, um, but as a whole, an uh, absent person, majority of it, short, short time. Feel free to comment it below on this video. I'll come back and answer it and read everything that you guys have to say. But also, if you feel like you wanna message me privately, you can message me right here on my Instagram. Um, I would love to um, talk to every single one of you that is watching. So whether it be for the topic that I'm talking about here or anything else, I really would love to um, connect with other moms. It's very hard making friendships um, at my age and I don't really talk at, at work very much because of the job that I have. It's just, you know, you go in, you take care of your your whole entire day. I have to be with him all day with no break. Um, so I don't really get that much um, adult connection like I would like to. So feel free to message me about absolutely anything. And if you do wanna see more positive light to uh, my family's life, um, you could come follow us on YouTube right here. Um, I'll put it in the description below also. Um, we do all types of videos and I really feel like you guys would really like some of them, all of them, there's really something for anyone. So um, come check us out on YouTube, subscribe if you want to and hit that bell. And uh, I look forward to talking to all of you guys and thanks again Mom's View for this incredible opportunity. I really appreciate it.